This sequence will show general exam techniques. We'll then have separate clips to show specific techniques for the four-mirror lens and the three-mirror lens. It is important that the eyes are topically anesthetized. It's also important that the patient's head is set up in a way that allows the exam to be performed as easily as possible. The patient's head needs to be firmly braced against the forehead band. The eye should be aligned with the cancel mark to allow full up and down excursion of the slit lamp. This is especially important for gonioscopy to allow the examiner to use the upper and lower mirrors. We typically begin with the slit lamp power at 10x and can increase the power as needed throughout the examination. The room light should be dimmed for gonioscopy. In this video, obviously the room is bright to allow the video to be performed, but typically the room light should be down. Similarly, the slit beam should be short so that it does not shine into and constrict the pupil, artificially opening the iridocorneal angle. It is important that the patient be relaxed. The examiner should be honest, but not too descriptive of the procedure. I usually say that this lens will come close to your eye, but will not hurt your eye, and you will feel it touch your eyelashes. This is honest and prepares them for the sensation of the lens touching your eyelids, but is not fully descriptive. Saying something like this sharp piece of glass will be lying against your eye is only going to make the patient anxious and is not beneficial. It is important to brace your elbow. Gonioscopy is challenging enough without making it more difficult by having your elbow unsupported. For people with short arms, having a block of some sort under the elbow is very helpful.